How you going everyone? I hope you're all well. I thought I'd take a moment to record a very quick small lecture about the event brief assignment which is your second assignment for HSP 109. Now this is a little bit of fun because you get to choose any type of event that you like over the last 12 months that's maybe piqued your interest around policing and then you get to subject that to a little bit of analysis in addition to taking on a lot of knowledge about it, so actually reading about the circumstances of it. So you'll need to find some research, you'll need to find some online news articles um, using Google and, uh, and developing your knowledge about that so that then you can conduct the analysis and you write it up as a little brief. The due date of this particular assignment is on the Milo site for you because if it changes, then it means that it changes just there for you and nowhere else. The 1500 word maximum is, is what's set for this particular assignment and that excludes your reference list. And the overall task is weighted at 40% of your grade. What you have to do in this particular assignment is that you need to write a brief on a contemporary issue or event relevant to policing. The brief needs to be analytical, succinct, and easy to understand. So you need to imagine in your head that you're a police officer and some big wig has said to you, Oi, you need to write this brief on this particular thing. I need to know about it like by 40, in 48 hours. So you got to get to work, write the brief, make sure it's good quality so that it can form, inform their ideas and then they can go off to parliament or whatever and talk about it. So think of doing this as uh, a kind of a, a job for a top level bureaucrat or politician, for example. So you must have a good general knowledge of what happened at that event in order to be able to write that brief in a way that's really understandable and accessible. So brief topics must be current, so it must have occurred in the last 12 months and must be relevant in some way to policing. So if it's a backyard barbecue that's just gone up in flames and uh, it's gone out of control, then it's probably gonna be a fire and not really that relevant to policing. So really think about that a little bit more. First of all, you need to identify the event that you're discussing. Uh, then the rest of the brief is basically an analytical explanation of the issue's origin, the present status, and the ramifications. You should end with a short section that's uh, talking a little bit about the likely further developments of that particular event. So if it's the first event of vehicular terrorism in Australia, then it's going to have some substantial ramifications around legislation, for instance, and what they might do in terms of crime prevention uh, and the way that they do that as situational crime prevention using public space putting up bollards and things like that. So think about the further developments or implications that might come out of this particular event. The key part of this task is to make a concise presentation of the chosen event that's accessible to educated readers and that identifies the key dynamics of the event and draws obviously sensible conclusions. Newspapers, current affairs, magazines, government documents and journal articles are definitely going to be your main resources. We've provided you with a step-by-step -step process, so please have a read of it. It's definitely on the Milo site for you. Um, and you'll need to draw from readings from the unit, wider literature and readings uh, that you find in the library databases, and have a look in Google Scholar too, because it's pretty rad for this assignment. So the steps that you need to have a look at, starting off with, you need to identify an event. That's pretty, pretty straightforward stuff. It can be anything related to policing. It doesn't need to involve police specifically, but should be an event relevant to policing in some aspect. Uh, some examples include things like acts of terrorism, cyber attacks, incidents of family violence or trends, police misconduct, police operating in peacekeeping operations. If you aren't sure, email us. Uh, about the event that you think you might like to focus on and we can make sure that it's going to fit with the task. It is recommended that you keep it to an Australian context if possible, but if you're interested in an international perspective, that then just get in touch and we can chat about that as well. Once you've actually identified an event, then you start your research into the topic. All right? I wouldn't recommend just haphazardly uh, researching six or seven events. You're gonna spend a lot of time on it. You don't need to. So for example, if you're looking at an event of terrorism, 
uh, begin some research into that particular act and look at the research that talks about terrorism and what the different relevant aspects of this are. Um, in relation to policing. The purpose of this assessment isn't to simply describe the event, but to provide an analysis of what happened in that event, relevant to senior police officers or senior public service employees. In other words, why does this topic need to be brought up to the attention of senior staff? For example, if you're looking at an act of terrorism, you could make the argument that a re recent event, such as vehicle-borne attack, as I mentioned before, demonstrates the need for Tasmania Police to upgrade security arrangements for the Salamanca market. Um, yeah, be imaginative, have some fun with it. The third step is to write up your event brief using the template provided. Uh, remember, at least use two, per, two references per paragraph for this one. Um, and in fact, in any essay that you're doing. Write up your reference list using Harvard style and then upload your finished assignment in the template to the assignment submission folder in Milo. Very simple. We've got a basic structure here for you. Title, which is just basically a, a statement. Your event, which is also just a statement of what it is, a one-line identification of it. The significance. This is a short paragraph explaining why this issue is significant. The analysis then, um, and this will be the bulk of your uh, response. You can use subheadings. Um, to section up to help organise the uh, argument that you're making. So think very carefully. If it's something like the Lint Cafe, you're not going to be able to focus on everything. Narrow it down so that it becomes more manageable for you overall. And then you need to have a nice conclusion, a short paragraph which talks about uh, summarising what you've discussed and then actually talks about so what for the future and making recommendations. And then, of course, you have your reference list. So what does the marking rubric say about this particular assignment? If you're going for an HD, which is a high distinction, you want to be able to provide a comprehensive and sophisticated understanding of the theory and knowledge related to an event. So theory, I'm thinking literature review here. Uh, the knowledge base, of course, is also part of the literature, but you really need to know uh, a lot about the research in order to be able to talk about this well. For criteria two, this is where you incorporate many highly relevant um, and quality academic sources, such as handbook, articles, textbooks, that sort of stuff, um, indicating an ability to source key literature in the field. The third criteria is just about communication. And this is where you're presenting a concise and logically structured brief, fully incorporates the different elements, uh, sound and reasoned results, with correct and clear expression and grammar. And making sure that you've got a briefing format. And it's pretty straightforward because we've given you a template. We've given you some example paragraphs out of a good one that's been done in the past. This particular paragraph comes from the significance section. And you can see that overall they've got a lovely topic sentence up the top. Uh, they've got some nice uh, evidence in the middle that cites like statistics and research about these types of issues in other states and territories and even internationally too. And then they've got an overall point of relevance at the end, which links back to uh, domestic violence because that's what uh, this particular issue is about. And um, it discusses that in relation to how it's relevant to that particular senior uh, you know, decision maker. We've got another paragraph here uh, that discusses more broadly the analysis of that particular issue. I won't go through that one. Uh, we've got a recommendations paragraph as well that clearly note the different recommendations around this particular issue. Um, and it concludes with the different points around the overall brief as well. But look, that's it. I hope that was helpful for you. Remember, we've got an example on the Milo site for you to have a look at. And all you need to do is get in touch if you've got any questions. See you later.